if you tell falsehoods, you're not going to be around very long in today's world. Today's customer is just far more interested in the story behind the products they're buying. Demanding uh, knowledge about the quality of the product, knowledge of where the product comes from, who is making it, and what it's being made from. That story is what shows your integrity as a producer, as a company, as a manufacturer. There's about 600 family farms that grow Supima cotton, and they're located in California, Arizona, New Mexico, and West Texas. The growers that grow American Pima have a passionate connection to growing cotton. Even though it's a stubborn, difficult, complicated crop to grow, they're so driven intrinsically and innately that they want to create the best. You know, you want to master that fiber, you want to master that plant. You know, it's that richness of story, that history of a fiber that makes it special and unique. We were uh, formed in uh, 1954 by a group of growers that wanted to protect the authenticity and the identity of American Pima cotton. So a little history, 1911, Pima cotton is born. The crop was still very small until the Goodyear Tire Company came in. This is a unique story for luxury fibers because this is tough stuff. It was tire cord, eight pounds of Supima in every single Model T tire. It was also used for Lindbergh's flight across the Atlantic. Cotton was used in the fuselage of the plane for the plane to endure the rough transatlantic flight. And now, my fellow citizens, this young man has returned. Thanks for coming this morning. Cotton Bowl for you. Thank you. This is your Supima 101 session. Advantages, number one is the softness. Because those longer fibers produce a smoother, cleaner yarn. That garment's only gonna get softer over time. The second advantage is strength. It's much stronger than regular cotton and that has to do with the strength of the individual fibers. The third advantage is lasting color. With Supima, it's very thin. So over time, as you're washing and wearing that garment, the dye will stay in that thinner fiber. People always say to me, I love your t-shirts because they last forever. And I know what it is, it's the Supima cotton. When we talk about our brand partnerships, it was about 10 years ago when we had a really significant switch in terms of how we approach the market. While we'd been working with brands before, we realized the strength of the partnerships with those brands and having a closer relationship with them enabled them and us to develop better talking points. For Supima, some of the milestone companies like Brooks Brothers. Every single person in New York City saw this Supima Brooks Brothers ads at least twice. When you look at Brooks Brothers with their Supima page and their advertising or Land's End with their Supima page, what Uniqlo does in terms of photos and videos that they put in their stores. For each and every one of them, the Supima name stands alone as a unique identifier that brings value to their brand. Banana Republic, Levi Strauss. Supima is the granddaddy. In fact, it's often called the cashmere of cotton. And even QVC. The depth of our partnerships are all deepening and expanding. The more we work together, the more we see we can actually do. The millennial brands want to create the best. Their whole initiative is to make an amazing product and, and to use amazing products to create that product. Three by one, it's uh, bespoke jeans, and they're doing that with Supima denim. It's lighter, it's stronger. I love the fact that it's American made. And you have a uh, stance. You know, the humble sock is having a moment. People are asking for Supima cotton. People are coming in looking for designs that are super rad. We're definitely stoked on it. Brands like Casper, they were just up to see the harvest. Their focus is really on telling a story. There is integrity behind the story, and it's the notion that you have the best cotton staple. They want to know where things came from. They are about authenticity. We license the entire supply chain, so manufacturers, spinners, weavers, knitters, all the way back to the yarn and then to the grower that supplies the cotton. So that anything labeled as Supima is Supima. 
highly traceable supply chain so that we know from this little patch of cotton getting baled, turned into yarn and turned into our sheets and final product can be traced back to some small bit of acreage on this very large farm. Yeah, it costs a premium, but it's worth it to know that you're getting what you pay for. It fits right into the wheelhouse of what Supima is. We're a very simple nonprofit organization that is passionate about what we do. We want to be in a position where we can connect the customer to a great quality product.